just keeps getting crazier and crazier. Not 24 hours ago, we posted a video warning everyone about those dangerous sunspots we've been following, and not six hours later, we had a very large X-class solar flare. And this thing was massive, producing an entire halo CME that is heading directly for Earth. And yes, this will have effects. We've already had radio blackouts, and judging by its speed, we could be expecting impact within the next 36 hours. This is just one of many events that are seemingly taking place and lining themselves up with this total solar eclipse we're going to be seeing on April 8th. Now, for those of you that follow this channel closely, you know I love finding these hidden symbols and signs in all these things that happen on Earth. And this is wild, but it looks like a phoenix is rising or exploding out of the sun stretching out over literally millions of kilometers. And there's no way you can just ignore this with everything else that's going on in the world. It's just adding to this insane mystery and timeline that we are on. Something else interesting I'm noticing, which I've already posted about, is what seems like a line of earthquake following the path of the eclipse once again. Now take a look at this. We're looking at the last eight hours of earthquake activity or reported shaking. As we move into the last 24 hours, we start seeing a line forming. And yes, this is line Lining up exactly with the solar eclipse that we are expecting April 8th. Going into two days of earthquakes, we see that line getting even more defined from Texas all the way up into the northeast, with a few scattered shots down in the southeast. And now take a look at the last week of reported earthquakes or shaking. Some of these could be sonic booms, but there is absolutely a theme going on here. And this can be added to the phenomena with the weather and the 16,000 lightning strikes or whatever that was. This can all now go into that weird category. This event that took place on the sun was actually a double blast. We had two separate sunspots, one of which we focused on yesterday, and then there was one right above it, both of these going off at seemingly the exact same time. The sun just produced a solar flare so strong it took two sunspots to make it. The long duration X1.1 class flare started on March 23rd around 0130 UT, when both AR3615 and AR3614, NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded the double blast. And one more thing, my friends, don't forget that there will be a comet visible for those of you that so dare to be in the path of this eclipse. These are some snapshots of the spiraling comet 12P Ponsbrooks, also considered the Devil Comet. This is because it seems like it has horns coming off either side, very similar to what we just saw with the sun. It's becoming more and more difficult to even consider a lot of these things being coincidence. I don't want to pretend like I know exactly what's going on here because I really don't. I've never seen anything like this in my life. The synchronicities and all the buildup from just simple little things all the way up to biblical type prophecy. Like this is very intense stuff we're dealing with here. And honestly, as of right now, your guess is as good as mine as to what will happen. Is this something that will take place on the day of the eclipse or is this a period of time, whether it's ending or beginning? That is what we are left here to figure out, my friends. But until then, I'll keep covering all this information. As always, check out the Instagram and X channels for instant updates. And that is the info I have for you today, my friends. Shout out to Canada, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all, and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.